Come on, Kayla. You, you got, got this. You can do it, girl. Yeah. I you can't can do, do it. fun voices. I just can't. You don't have to. Right, you can do your own to. voice. Just have fun. Think of some of the pressure. most redneck people you've ever met in your life and just imitate their voice. <laughs> then you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> and no, yes. it doesn't matter. That's what makes it great. Just relax and let it out. I'm going to get in so much trouble. Mm. Come on, go for it. Come on. Okay. Do, it. Do, it. do it. You can do it. I just like it. Now. it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, girl. You can do it, yeah. Relax. Let it out slow. Just let it go, baby. Tell him, Morgan. I had it made, and then I had my maid, and then it was all downhill from there. <laughs> I... Chapter 13. The trail in the nebula against Tina. I can stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, there you go. As the trio Sometimes. entered the mouth of the colossal cave, they were enveloped in darkness so dense. It felt like swimming through a vat of tap tapioca pudding. Their eyes strained mm. to adjust to the lack of light, but faint glimmers from the luminescent mushrooms dotting the walls offered a feeble mm. illumination. Yeah, man. Mm. Right. The cave was a labyrinthian maze with narrow passageways that twisted and turned like a pretzel shaped by an overzealous yoga instructor. Oh, we'd like to twist you up like a pretzel. Amelia's heart pounded in her chest as they cautiously ventured deeper, the anticipation of what awaited them becoming almost unbearable. In this eerie underground world, the air was thick with the odor of so damp thick. earth and the faint scent of stale hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this New the Orleans? The ground beneath their feet was uneven and slippery, causing oh. Alicia to stumble and grab onto Eris's arm for support, unintentionally sending them both into an undignified shuffle. It was moments like these that reminded them, even in the face of danger, that laughter could mend the cracks in their spirits. As they crept further into the cave, whispers of treachery echoed off the walls, infiltrating their thoughts like a mischievous parasite. <laughs> <laughs> Eris clenched her fist. The memory of Bobby Bologna the trail is still fresh in her mind. She could shake the feeling that they were being watched, that lurking eyes were tracking their every move. Suddenly, a haunting melody drifted through the air, the ethereal notes resonating with a yearning for something else. Yeah. Amelia's eyes, ears, perked up, recognizing the tune as the mel melancholic melody of her childhood lullaby. She couldn't she fathom found. how it had found its way into this forsaken place, but the familiarity provided a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainty. The cave narrowed into a claustrophobic passage, leading them to a small chamber bathed in an unworldly, uh, otherworldly glow. In the center, a gigantic crystal pulsated with a soft, ethereal light, casting dancing shadows on the wall. Its presence was mesmerizing, drawing them closer with an inexplicable force. As they approached, the, the crystal's glow intensified, illuminating their faces with a spectral brilliance. It whispered promises of power and redemption, but Amelia's instincts told her to proceed with caution. She couldn't shake the feeling that this was a pivotal moment, where choices no. made would That's shape no. the course no. of their adventure. Yes, girl. And with that... <laughs> with that haunting thought, chapter 13 came to an end, Smack leaving our rabbit. heroes standing before the pulsating crystal, their hearts pulsating. filled with mm. uncertainty and determination. Well, this pulsating was something all right. <laughs> well, it was pulsating. Just squeeze it a little. Is that what I had? That was very inspiring. Dear, I do believe I have the vapors. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs>